Hi, my name is Greg Carlson and in this tech tip I'd like to show you the Radian 2012 R1 dynamic tool list. The dynamic tool list provides a persistent list of tools or cutting conditions used to tool apart. The tool list also includes features for tool analysis and modification that make tooling editing faster and easier. Let's take a look at this new technology. This part is tooled for a laser machine. The new dynamic tool list is displayed automatically in the tooling or profiling mode of a part file. This part's tool list is positioned along the right side of the screen with the list of cutting conditions used for this part. If we take a closer look at some of the tooled features in this part, we can see different tooling colors reflecting the different conditions used. In previous releases to figure out how any features are tooled required several steps including possibly a query command or two along with a comparison in the tool library or maybe a review of the auto tooling settings. Now the list of conditions used are instantly and persistently listed on the screen at all times. Selecting one of the listed cutting conditions in the tool list and using the redraw all features in the selected tool and angle option, this first icon, reveals quickly which features are using that selected cutting condition. So notice when I select the icon, the only feature still tooled on the screen right now is the large circle. If I select a different cutting condition and select that command, notice the smaller holes which are using that condition are now the only ones displayed and selecting the last cutting condition and that command shows the exterior profile being tooled. So it quickly reveals which features are using that cutting condition in an easy step or two. Similar capabilities are available for parts tooled for a punching machine. Again, we see all the tools used for the part are listed and in this case are punch tools. If I expand this list of punch tools, you can see that the tool list includes the tool type, the tool station, the tool description, and the tool's size, as well as information like the number of hits for each tool used within this part. To review where these punch tools are used on the part, Again, I can select a tool from the list, select that, review all features, and the tool using, the feature using that tool is displayed. Select another tool and try that command. You can see those are the features using that selected tool in the list. You can also delete all features tooling by a specific tool as well. So this command will remove all instances of that selected tool from the part. Another option provides the ability to open a tool in the part mode for possibly editing the tool symbol. This option to edit a selected tool in the tool library editor will launch the, the tool library editor and edit that selected tool for making changes quick and easy to the tool definition stored in the Radan tool library. And you can also recall a selected tool to the cursor to make manual tooling faster and easier. When the dynamic tooling list is displayed in details view, the current display type, you get the detailed information and the column headers now uh, allow you to sort the list by any of those column types, such as by tool size, sorting the list from the longest to the shortest tool or vice versa or by tool type. Once you've selected a sort method, one of these column headers, you can then group up the list into groups based on that sort type. So now I've grouped the list based on tool type. This is our circular tool group, our rectangular tool group, and the square tool group. This makes it easier to understand what tools are being used even if it's an extensive list of tools for the part. In addition to this details view, the list can be displayed 
in tiles view where each tile is displayed in icon form with a detailed list to the right of each icon. The thumbnail view option displays just the image without the tool information. And in either the tile view or thumbnail view, you have the option of turning on the relative size setting. And with either the tile or thumbnail view, the relative size options provides an easy way to visually compare the general size of the tools without having to read the details of each tool. And the last display control is the icon view, which takes up the least amount of space, which could be very handy for extensive list of tools. The remaining icon allows you to edit the standard tool loading, to make modifications to the tool loading within the library, and the available STL or standard tool loading list allows us to switch from one tool loading to another. Notice how different tools are loaded in different stations when a different standard tool load is activated. And if a tool listing ever displays a dash next to a tool station, the system is indicating that tool can't be loaded into that station, providing very effective and efficient tool analysis functionality through this new dynamic tool list. As you can see, the Radan 2012 new dynamic tool list provides an intuitive utility for analyzing existing tooling and editing or adding tooling in a more efficient manner. Thanks for viewing this Radan Tech Tip.